Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. Previously on Dust and Elysian Tale, we got lost in the caves beneath town. And as we can see here, we only have two ways to go at this juncture, left or right. And if we look at the legend, we can see there's quite a bit of treasure I haven't been able to get either. So the circle's definitely treasure I have not found. Yes. Well, we will continue going, going and going. Uh, looking at this, though, uh, not doing too bad. We're about 40% completion. World Explored is 48, so halfway through the world. So total completion, of course, was all items, so I'm not required to get all of that to beat the game, I'm sure. But not bad. I'm all about halfway done, oddly enough. I've only found one of the 12 friends. I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, so, real quick, I was going through my inventory here. Most of what I have is still pretty much under what I already own. Still can't afford to make this ring. I, uh, oh, actually, apparently I can. So I killed the giant before starting recording, and apparently he dropped another finger. So great, I can get the ring of the miner. Awesome. Uh, let's see, which one would be best to replace? I have a ring that gives me item drop rate. I'm wearing that now. Even though this is better. That's gold drop rate, though. I think I want to keep the item drop rate, though, because it's served me well. And I'll probably replace this one, because it's attack, defense, and luck. So let's go over here. And get myself some gold drop, luck, and attack. So we can see I lose four defense. Not bad. Gain four luck. And gain some attack. So we're going to go ahead and make this. Looks like 500. Excellent. I can go ahead and wear it. I also noticed I have a blueprint here, not sure where I picked this one up, but we have the poor man's pendant, rusted pendant of a poor yet confident warrior. Some attack and defense and luck gives me three more luck, so I'm doing pretty good on luck. I've got an increased item drop rate and some good luck here. I, I like that. I like being able to find items a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and make this. Looks like it just takes ten of this wire thing. It doesn't tell me what it is. I just know it's a wire thing. And I've got 26 of it, so I don't care. Equip! That being said, excuse me while I save briefly. Alright, so we're gonna go continue, figure out what else is down here beneath the town. Burning everything to a crisp in my wake. Oh, hello. So the spot where you can climb up. I have a feeling I might be close to getting that upgrade. Here's hoping. Ugh. That spidery thing again. I'm not going to fight it fairly. Not at all. I am going to use every trick I have to make sure it dies. I don't want to touch it. I can't counter it. And it's a creepy crawly thing that I just do not want to deal with. Looks like there might be something up there, but I don't have the means to get up there. So it looks like we're going left. Oh, I got hit. I can't believe I got hit. I was even dodge rolling, which I haven't really done a lot of. Maybe that's why I got hit. I haven't really been doing a lot of dodge rolling. And so I decided to go ahead and do some, and what happens? I get hit. That's what I get for being a cocky bastard. Oh, hello. Lots of fluorescent mushrooms in the area. You know, I've said it before, but I think it bears repeating. Is I really enjoy this 2D art style. I just think too many games, especially AAA titles, are just veering away from it. Almost like they're afraid to keep using 2D style, like it's out of style. Of which I fully disagree. Ooh, what do we have here? Flax sheath. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Ah, oh, looks like that's something I already have. That I'm actually using right now. 
No. 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 Just die. Oh, jeez. More. I'm just going to completely use every trick I have to avoid any actual contact with those. Hello, I think we found another friend! What are you? Like a llama? Carl! I had a rumbly in my tumbly. A rumbly that only hands could satisfy. Okay, so I've moved up. I was unable to get past that barrier, but it looks like I might have a chance by going left and down. If um, if there happens to be a way around, so we're, I'm hoping that there is. Um, kind of want to do is kill these things off. It's genocide. I want to see just what I need to do to get here. So it looks like when I dropped down, it wasn't far enough. In fact, yeah. All right, so there's a key over there too, and I want to get that. So the good news is it looks like it doesn't take a ton of keys to get the friends. Like Super Meat Boy took me, what was it, three? I think it was, uh, one, I want to say five, but I think it was three. Uh, keys to unlock. I was kind of afraid that the others were going to be similar. It looks like they're going to have their own circumstances for being found. Alright. Trying to get the drop on me, is he? You see that? These guys are getting brave. Just slice through them. I'm really hoping to get some new combat techniques. Oh, hello, little quaggin. No! Go away! Well, nuts to that. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Yeah. Gotta love it, eh? Oh! Ow! What is this? You've been poisoned! When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Okay, but well, we're gonna do that. Mushroom. There. Who would have thought using a mushroom to get rid of a poison? I just don't. Uh, well, I wonder if you can wait it out, actually. And like I said, nuts to that. Quite literally a nut. So I'm gonna have to be very careful. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. All right. All right. Just keep that on. So what I need to do is figure out... See, it's constantly... Is it picking up the motion of my... I don't know, but I'm just going to... Oh, crap. I have no idea. I don't know what's setting him off, but I was able to get through. Thank goodness. Um... Crap. I dislike you. Oh, jeez. Nowhere is safe. We're all doomed. Doomed.
Oh jeez. I'm so glad I have mushrooms on me. No. Crap, crap, crap. On a crap cracker. Ah. Stop it. Okay, really? No. Oh jeez. Okay, I know they said they're sensitive to movement, but what movement? Because some of them look like they're going off for no reason. Oh. I fell. Oh dear. I don't have time to think about it. Just go. Okay, if I'm still running, it looks like I have enough time to get by. Oh, you! Huh. Oh. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Never have been so glad to see you. All right, I've got nine of these things, so I'm not worried about it. I can, uh, I don't think I really have to buy any right now. Let's just see if there is anything interesting, shall we? Shall we? Uh, I don't think there is. Oh, well, hold on. 25 defense, 4 luck, 35. So I could definitely buy that. I've got the gold. But I kind of want to hold on to it still. Oh, three times item drop. That might be worth it. Two attack, four defense, three times item drop, six luck. See, I really like hi having items with luck. And, of course, with uh, any kind of item drop is even better because they synergize really, really well. How much are the keys? They're 3,000 a pop. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get all the keys he has to offer so I never have to worry about that again. Now I know how much money I have to worry about, right? Because I've bought all the keys. Now I just have to find the rest of the keys. So we're done there. So let's go ahead and I can get two of these. One for each uh, finger, I guess, each hand. I'm not sure if I want to do that because I just spent a lot of gold. And one away rings gives me 20% gold, which is nice. I kind of want to, though. Uh huh. You know what? When it comes to gold, comes to item drops and whatnot, yeah, let's do it. Let's, we're going to spend. I'm, I'm actually spending. Is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. Never say that after I just purchased stuff from you. All right, so I think that was honestly a worthwhile purchase. It's long-term goals, right? Trying to make sure um, I get everything I need. So we're looking at this, and even though it only shows that I'm gaining two luck, we can see that the item drop, this 50% item drop, that's actually a three times item drop. So it's double what this one's giving me. So, wow, three times the item drop. That's nuts. All right, I'm going to lose a little bit of attack. It's got the same luck, but it's got item drop. Uh, what am I losing? 20% gold. That's fine. 20% gold I can deal with. Plus, with items, I, I should be able to start selling items, actually. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's go into sell mode. Uh, any materials that need to be sold off? Uh, yes, actually. A, a couple. All right, let's take a look. All these, all three checked, all three checked. Check, check, check. All right, so this, Florin Tentacle. Uh, looks like Stone Feeler. Hound Hide. Squirt Bug Arm. Great. Everything has been cataloged. Your transit. Thank you. All right, that helps. Now, uh, looking at the map, what was yellow again? Okay, shop, which we're already at. And the only way to go here is down. So it looks like I'll be able to go down and hopefully right. All right, managed to make it down. Uh, I'm hating this thing. Stop it! Just seriously stop. <laughs> it's enough out of you. Okay, good. So normally, I'm honestly, when it comes to role-playing games and even action games like this, I'm usually very, very frugal. I like to save my money in case I need it for a secret item or a very expensive armor or sword or something. But, you know, when it comes to things like this...
I accidentally used one of my mushrooms trying to switch uh, Fidget's attack. Something like this, where I'm going for long-term goals at this point. It's something I didn't used to do, uh, something that I've learned the value of, gaining items with luck on them. Like, I normally don't bolster luck. When I used to play adventure games, what I used to do was always get as much offense and defense as I could to survive. Well, as I've gotten better at the games, I've learned that you can, as long as you are not dying, you can get by with not buying that stuff and hoping to find the upgrades instead. And I feel like I'm doing a decent enough job in this game right now for that to happen. Oh, man. Okay, so I can't go that way to get the animal friend. My guess, judging from what I've seen, is that I'm going to get the ability... ...to uh, climb up walls here soon. I think that's what I'm going to get first. Just because there's an animal friend over there through that slide... And I, I just don't think I'm going to get the ability to get to that yet. And I've seen a couple areas where I can climb up. And I think I even need to to progress. And that's giving me the kind of the indication here that, yeah, I'm going to probably climb first before I crawl. Odd statement that. But yeah, that, that seems what, what's... That feels like what's going to happen here. Uh, all right, so I leveled... I actually have, I think, two. No, I have one remaining gem. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and level defense like I usually do. Confirm. That'll be the first thing. And then I'll just probably level everything up as I go. I'll probably start with fidget because I use fidget a lot for doing a lot of damage and clearing the area. And uh, maybe move on to health and attack. Now, I did find something. Now, the item find is already kicking in. I found a couple blueprints and items along the way. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what else I found. No upgrades yet. Same with the rings. Let me just double check these. Make sure none of them have something special that's not quantifiable. Because if we look at this, the item drop is non-quantifiable in my stat screen. Uh, same with the gold drop. There is no actual stat for that. I have attack, defense, fidget, luck, gold. Nothing for the other two. So it's something I have to actually keep an eye out for. Now, also with some luck, I didn't even think about that, with, I, with the increased item drops, I was talking about, uh, I think it was in the last one, where if I go to make something like this, the cost of the materials wasn't worth putting it together, like this. Uh, it would just not be worth it to buy the materials I need to craft an item to then turn around and sell it. But if I'm getting good item drops, I might be able to just craft a bunch of items and sell them back for gold. So there is that possibility. There he is! Look, he's in trouble! Ah, leave me alone! Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust, or this battle will be over before it begins. Oh dear. Oh, another one. Oh! Come on. Oh! Oh, the enemy's poison. I better... Oh dear. I can't even use Dust Storm against him. Got him. So I was trying to parry, but I was holding it to way too early and he was breaking through. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him, and maybe get out of this raining death. It's raining death, hallelujah, it's raining death. Oh. Ow. Okay, I won't sing, I promise. Um, for now. Ah. Good news is I'm not getting poisoned. Actually, it's hardly hurting me now. Come on. Alright, this is more annoying. Ah. 
Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna power through this. This is getting annoying. Okay, maybe powering through it is not gonna work. I hate you. I hate you people. Go, go, go! Hmm. Mud pot. Awesome. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Hello. How you doing there, little guy? You talk? No? Another one of you? Okay. This is obviously the rock people's village. There he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this! I'm sorry, Mama! Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah! Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? Uh. I'll be sure to tell her, Fidgets. <laughs> I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Yeah, absolutely. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um... Well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. App description. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Dum dum dum! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! I want that Stop sword! Stop saying that! Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? 
We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Alright. Sorry, I'm replacing you with a wooden sword of justice there. I want that. <laughs> wooden spoon of justice. I need a symbol. A symbol to strike heart in the fear of my enemies. Spoon! You'll save my pa, won't you? Please, Dust. You gotta help him. You'll save... Yeah, hey, we'll save your pa there, buddy. Don't worry. I'm a friendly kind of surface dweller. Not at all mean. Now come here while I swing at my sword at you. Alright, you. I had you pegged all wrong, stranger. Please, talk to the lady. Her kids See are like, what am I even doing here? Again. I had all right, what's in the building? Hey, Pa. He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Okay. Nothing really here. I really feel like I should be playing the Gerudo Valley theme from Legend of Zelda here. <laughs> Although, that's not to say that I don't like the background music for this. I do, I still love the music for this game. All right. Oh, hi. Oh, a quest. Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? <gasps> it's a flying cat! <sighs> Do you want it? She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. What? Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Bidget. Maybe we met. <laughs> Can I hold it? I want it. Yes. Just do something. It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her. She talks. I'll trade you. No. I got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. The box. That must be Reed's box. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah. Maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! Gotcha! <laughs> and she will love him and pet her and call her George. You're back! Is that my doll? Please, take it off my hands. No, Bump. That's just Fidget. Aww. A better Fidget. Awesome. Oh, I'm so amused. I love the graphics, I love the sound, and the dialogue is just perfect as well. Anything over here? No. Hmm, okay. Okay, we've got another gate that I can't open, whose color I can't identify, because I just don't know. <sighs> okay, so... Uh... Looks like this is a four-way intersection with a treasure chest somewhere nearby. Traveling through the village. Uh, let's see. Door? No, no door, but another quest. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. 
I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mudpot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Oh. Cool. Is it a literal ring that I have to equip, though? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a literal something that I have to equip. Or maybe, nope, I guess that one's it. Ring of Sight. Attack and defense. So I will probably have to use that as I get further in. Okay, that's cool. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We're still looking for clumps of red moss. Ah, uh, yes. A do-gooding adventure, going around, picking up quests, fetching items for everybody. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Okay, so I was wrong. So the sheep is part of the quest, and I don't have the means to get to it yet, so that's unfortunate. If you can find all six of my sheep, I'd be much obliged. You'll recognize them by their sparkly wool. So they even explain the wool. So looking a little closer when I look at this guy, I kind of thought they were rock creatures, but that doesn't look like... I guess it's just blue skin. Um, so, so much for my Gerudo Valley theory. Hello. It's a cemetery. And another place to crawl. And one of the sheep. And so maybe I was wrong. Maybe I will learn to crawl before I walk or climb or whatever. Gotta learn to crawl before you learn to walk. But I just couldn't listen to ow that righteous talk. Oh no. Okay, bomb fruit. Where? All right. Uh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that's all it is. Okay. Um. Yeah. What's with you? Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save our village? Mongoose. What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Oh, that's priceless. 
everybody got to have a hitting stick. Don't you know that, boy? What, don't you know? Uh, it looks like his pants are barely being kept up. I hope they stay up. I really, you just keep those, keep those no. pants up. Well, what are you doing standing around here? How am I supposed to hit things without my special hitting stick? Only when the stick is in my hand and your flying rat has been beaten do you have my permission to slide. I had to go with the Bane joke. I don't know why. It just hit me. Okay, so we now have a way of going down. That's good. Now this place is a bit darker, so I imagine I could use the ring here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Oh, hold on. That's right. Uh, da, 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 da. Fidgeter health. Fidgeter health. Eh... I don't really know. I can go fidget. So what happens when we equip the right ring? Looks like it's a little bit brighter. It's like light radius from Diablo. But I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, it's not dark, really. So... Oh yeah, the light radius is much smaller. Hey, hey there! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I just fell. So that's one sheep. Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah, what? Okay then. Look, I'm like Guybrush Threepwood. I can fit anything in these pants. Aight? Don't question it, mongoose. Really, I just fell again. Uh, I need a save point, because we are getting to the point where I think we need to save. In fact, this looks like this location has a save point, so I think this is going to be a good spot. I believe I've talked to everything. I can go down through the red door. Um, wow, looks like we're back up. Trolk jacket. Alright, let's see if... Uh, is that any good? Wow, yeah. 40 defense, 4 luck. So I'm glad I didn't buy the armor from the shop, because I just found something better. 40 defense, 4 luck. Can I make it, though? I need four of these damn fingers. I can buy four fingers. That's going to be 1,600, though. That's going to take half of my gold. Uh, and then I need four of this, which I don't even have. Or I have, but I can't even buy, because there's nothing in the shop. All right, well, I got a blueprint for something better, which I'm still glad I didn't buy. All right, so that's the second. All right, that's the uh, second barrier that I can blow up, but I don't have any bomb fruit nearby. Okay. All right, well we're at a save point. I'm just gonna go see what going left is. Okay, great. So I have a save point and I can leave now. So I can go to different areas. Uh, like the farm here, I've got the hidden cove, so I can do several quests and try and progress my story. So great, I've uh, managed to complete this area. And I've got a sheep in my pants. I... There's a phrase you just never really think you're ever going to utter in polite conversation. How's the song go? I need a lover, mother, no, not my brother, mother. I need a sheep to keep me warm in the night. Yes. There you go. You have a little bit of singing today, and you're gonna like it. That's how it goes when we play Dust and Elysian Tale. Bah. Right on. Okay, I'm gonna end it here before I get even crazier. This has been an enjoyable game so far, and I've honestly enjoyed sharing it with you guys. I know um, some of you have already played through, and some of you are just kind of enjoying it with the commentary. I've had some pretty nice comments, some people that have been watching it regularly. So, you, of course, you have my apologies that uh, it hasn't really been as regular as it should have been. I've been meaning to at least 
get an episode on a regular basis. It just hasn't happened. So I'll try and do that a bit more often. So thank you for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to continuing the journey with you. See you next time.